Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we have ourselves a little cute Chanel unboxing and a kind of retrospective into the history of a certain Chanel type of item. So stay tuned because we're not going to just unbox and then call it a day, but we're going to also go into a tiny bit of retrospective of this particular artisanal way of crafting certain items. Very, very, very interesting. And of all the brands, luxury brands I know, Chanel is the only one that really does this. So before we get to it, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco Ball spelled together there as well for extra perks. Um, this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week, so come join the fun. Come join the chats. Hello to my chats. Um, this is really, really beautiful. So I asked, uh, gosh, I think two months ago, uh, my sales associate, if they're going to receive this piece, and it was a no. And then all of a sudden it was a, oh, we got it. Do you want it? And I was like, uh, let me come in and see it. Uh, I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> so we're going to box. This is from the Cruise 2023-2024 collection, the Los Angeles, you know, uh, Venice Beach vibes, Barbie vibes, pink is involved. <laughs> so here we go. And, uh, <clears throat> This uh, this little piece is uh, very, very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Where's the... Oh, like that. Upside down. So it's a tiny little thing, as one sometimes does. But, you know, big things come in small packages, as they say. This is just another added extra into the history of, of Chanel craftsmanship, I believe. And a lot of people don't understand the beauty of certain pieces because well because a lot of people think oh it's just plastic eh no it's not just plastic so i always slide these ribbons off you know me preserve everything nothing is thrown away so we're back to the paper camellias and uh cotton ribbons now that the holiday season is over so there's no more special little you know medallions and trinkets uh, that like they give us for the holiday season now it's back to paper sustainability mm -hmm. so it's a classic uh costume jewelry box like uh, we're used to since several years now although they did add i have hold on i have an older one yeah they did add this print at the bottom that's new and the print talks about recycling it's a french text english and italian and they're kind of now indicating to you how to recycle these boxes in the past there was none of that it was just a plain chanel box and before these boxes even before these boxes chanel did these boxes with a different texture like their shoe boxes in the back they were white, and they had that little tiny recycle button visible. Uh, this was back in 2005. Now, before that, even no, that's it. Yeah, that's the one. Now, before that, even they had different boxes. We're talking 80s and early 90s, gl glossy, a uh, lacquered black, and then we went through this textured, almost kind of like imitation of leather, and then we we came to these rubberized paper ones, which are not the best, but it is what it is. They want you to throw them away. It's like, if they're recyclable, throw them away. Just keep your product in your own jewelry container or what have you. Mm. Anyway, what they still have to change in my opinion. So this is the information about your costume jewelry piece. What they still have to change is the quality of these plasticky things. After a couple of years, these start degrading. They become brittle. They fall apart. My tip to you take these out and uh, wrap your Chanel costume jewelry in white tissue paper, especially if you have glass pearls that are coated with that pearlescent finish. When this starts melting and degrading, it sticks to the 
glass pearls and it stains and you cannot wash that away. Be very, very, very careful. So, you know, they they pack it in this cheap rubber plastic. This is terrible. Uh, I think they should change this. Really, Chanel, this is really bad. So anyway, here it is, the reveal. <laughs> it's backwards. Oh. It is the Chanel Cabriolet with crystals pin. They call it a brooch, but in reality, it's a pin. Now, I do, uh, I did take um, close up shots of this as well. So you're going to see it. Let me blend it in here. And uh, as I blend it in, um, it doesn't photograph so easily and so well. So we're going to talk about the evolution now of of Chanel resin. Okay, so let me shift to the side. So <clears throat> it's like the Barbie car, exactly. Now, Chanel resin is a very particular material. It's not transparent at the beginning. They have to polish it and then it becomes transparent. So you layer all the textures that you need to create your resin brooch at Chanel or pin and then you got to polish it in the end and you got to be very careful as you're pouring it that you don't get any air bubbles. And they've mastered that craft. So this is, it's work. It, it It's not just a pin. So you have this transparent resin and it's quite thick. See it on the sides here. Look how thick it is. So it's a transparent resin in the back, in the front, and there's a thick white piece in, inside on which they have added this <coughs> particular adhesive sticker type of vibe which they don't usually use or, or do, but they did this by choice, not because they wanted to go cheap on it, but because they wanted that 80s comic book print vibe. And let me show you the next picture. So you can see how it looks. Uh, they've added the extra reflection of the light here on the glass of the car, that wave. There's different shades of pink here. There's one shade of pink, another shade. Here's a third. Here's a fourth. Here's a fifth. Then we got gray, grayscale, one, two, three, going into black, four. Uh, we have, oh, here's another shade of pink back there. You see what I mean? When you start zooming in, you realize, oh, hold on a minute. This is not just one pink. Uh, then we got the two crystals. The two crystals are not outside of the resin. They are positioned inside of the resin. So when you go over them with your hand, you, do, you cannot touch them. They are enshrined, embedded in the resin. <clears throat> and the back, now this is an interesting evolution of these pins. They're so voluptuous. They're like candy. They're amazing. In the back, there is uh, a tiny miniature little metal. And this one, I did not prepare the photo. I can photograph it quickly now to show you how this thing really looks like in the back, which is insane. That is the authenticity stamp with the year uh, when the, the collection, from what year is the collection, and where it was manufactured. All of their resin is made in France. So let me zoom in. So this one is the Cruise 24. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but it says Chanel here. The 24 is there, the letter that designates the Cruise collection. Uh, here we have the CC copyright registered trademark and the made in France underneath it. This is minuscule. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny little metal. It's like a metal stamp. Now, the evolution of their resin, and it does evolve with time. Even this stamp is now not external to the resin. Even the stamp is inside the resin, so it can't fall off. In the past, it used to be 
added on top of whatever piece they were selling. So this is kind of the current latest version of their resin. And they, they've opted with a printed car instead of pouring every color individually in a different resin or enamel. That's what they used to do in the past. Here they've opted for this 80s aesthetic of print so that you see all the dots of color on this print that has been then placed on white resin and expanded with heat with the two perforations added for the two crystals, Zwarovski crystals. At least I think. Well, my sales associate said they're Zwarovski crystals. So it's so tiny, but it's so detailed. It's really, 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 really... Yvonne says, makes it impossible for it to be copied, I think. It's really hard to copy this. I mean, they have perfected... Let me show you the side of this thing to, to, to just let you understand um, how thick it is. So we have that transparent resin top bottom and in between we have the white in which you have embedded the car and the crystals. Now let me show you the next picture. Here's the close up. So I wanted to show you the close up so that you can see how they the gradient here. Look how detailed this is. It's like money almost. They have grayscaled the car. It begins with this darker gray and then it fades into a lighter gray as we go here. There's a different hue of pink up there than there is here. And then they've faded that from a darker pink to a lighter pink. Same here from dark to light. Look at this. Look at the details of how they've lined and etched all the way through the blacks. And then there's pink in the black as well. And then the two crystals. Very, 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 very interesting. And Yvonne says, I'd be afraid to put it on anything. I'd be more inclined to hoard it like a dragon with its treasures. I love their resin. Uh, pins and brooches, but I'm very, very particular about which ones I buy. And now I'm going to show you my collection of resin brooches. I photographed them all up close so we can get to see the evolution. This is the latest evolution where the uh, authenticity stamp is enshrined in the plastic, even when we pull off the uh, little pin part, the other, the little needle. The bottom of the needle is also enshrined inside of the of the resin. So it's very, 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 very sturdy. Let me cue in the first image. Now, look at this beauty. This is a resin brooch of a Chanel for pocket jacket, the classic uh, little black Chanel jacket. <clears throat> Which there it is. This little beauty, it's this tiny, right? And this one is so fascinating to me. It's also just as thick as the other one. And when you look at the side of it, like when I kind of look at it at the side cut, this little brooch, which is on a brooch, it's a brooch on a brooch, genius. This is an actual Chanel miniature brooch. This is metal, gold metal, not gold, gold toned, with a glass pearl. And it has enamel hand-painted around the brooch. And then that's been enshrined inside of the, of the resin. I mean, we're talking, people think, oh, 
it's plastic. Why would you, why, why do you want to buy a plastic Chanel? You know, it's like, it's not worth the money. I think this is an art, art form. Let me show you. This is the side of the brooch at this height where the little brooch, where the little Maltese cross is in the brooch. It's right here. Look at it. Look at it uh, embedded inside of the resin. You see the little pearl? There's the pearl and there's the little metal brooch. They have positioned this metal. They've made an entire brooch <laughs> in miniature. They've positioned it on the black resin. Each one of these buttons is an actual button in metal. Let that sink in. And the double C's are an extra piece of metal cut in the form of a double C and then embedded into the... There, look at the buttons. <laughs> here they are. They pop out. <laughs> you see them? Those are these little buttons here and these here. It's so intricate. It's so special. Um, so the car was a pin. This is an actual brooch because you can see it has that little needle. It's like a little piece of candy. It's so, so, so precious. So precious and so much attention to detail. And so many steps need to be done by hand in order to make this piece. So you understand why it also costs more. Uh, also made in France. Their resin brooches are made in France. Let me show you the next one where I hold it in my hand and you can see uh, the, the size, the proportions of it and how beautifully it kind of reflects light. It's like a piece of candy. It's highly glossy. Uh, they have to, you know, glossify the surface to make it transparent. That's usually done by hand. But, uh, so Gladys is asking, what is the price? So their prices do go up uh, a lot from season to season. This piece is from, what was this, 2018, 2018 or 2019. So this one was in the 460, 460 range. Expensive. And, and this is why they don't sell very well, because people say, well, it's plastic. You see, it's not just plastic. Still overpriced, but I have a special fondness for Chanel resin brooches, and this is why. Uh, Liz is asking, when did I begin my collection? I began my collection around 2003. But there have been a lot of Chanel brooches out of resin, and I, I, am, I, don't, I, I am very picky. Let me show you the next one. Okay, this one is insane because um, it's a tiny Chanel rocket and they have made, they have put glitter, little tiny dust. It's glitter dust really, more than glitter because the brooch is very, look at it, it's super tiny. Look how beautiful this one is. And they've poured, you have to pour this by hand. This is done by hand placed by hand, positioned all the colors, positioned the little pearls. This double C is metal with little crystals in it. Everything is done by hand. And then the resin goes on top. And in the back, you have that authenticity stamp right down there. I think this one was also, 20, what was this, 2017, 2018? Can't remember. I would have to look at the stamp. 17, 2017. Uh, and they already started back then to put the stamp inside of the resin. So it cannot fall off. And this little rocket flies away. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't it adorable? And it reflects light like crazy because of all of those beautiful... Look at these. It's, it's like glitter dust. It's like little diamonds. So obviously, as you move the rocket, it sparkles, but in such a fine, delicate way. Really, really, really gorgeous. Um, 
And uh, I can also take a picture of this one on the side for you so that you can see how the pearls are actually protruding outwards and the there you go I love Chanel for this I can't tell you how much this is this makes me so happy my collector heart so this is the side of the brooch bottom is black top is transparent here's the little these little pearls they're right here when we zoom in, there you have it. Look at the, the one, two, three, the three pearls. And then when we go up here, we see the double C, the side view of the double C in metal. So it's not just, oh, they printed a double C. No, no, no. They actually made a little tiny miniature metal double C with all the crystals in it, and then they've layered and textured the resin on top. So gorgeous. Rocket Man. Yeah, right? Reminds us of Rocket Man. Yeah. So anyway, let me show you me holding uh, the brooch in the next picture. You get a little bit of the Chanel Tweed eye palette back there. Uh, look how beautiful this is. It's not for everyone. Not everyone likes these things. They're a little bit more whimsical. But um, really, really, really gorgeous. Uh, Debbie says, I'm so glad you are doing this video. I'm gaining a new appreciation for these. Gloria says, I agree, Debbie. Um, I never knew there was such detail and care uh, put into them. And the beauty about this is, you guys, this is where Chanel excels because they are not tooting their own horn. They're very, very humble about this. They're not telling you in the store, look, but this is done like that, and this is amazing. They don't say these things. This is, I'm telling you this because I've done a ton of research <laughs> trying to learn about these things. Chanel is not going to be there like begging you to buy them because they're like so special and um so much care went into them. These are details that you figure out if you really want to learn uh, about these pieces. You know what I mean? And this is why when I saw the evolution uh, of their brooch with this kind of, of their resin pins with this kind of new technique that they're now using of, uh, for the 80s vibe, printing the actual image but with all, look how miniature this thing is. And and when you remember when we zoomed it in, how much detail is in there. It's insane. Now, Debbie, you were saying early on in the chats that you would be scared that this would yellow with time. No, it's not going to yellow in time. You just have to store it correctly. Don't store it in the sun. And why am I telling you it's not going to yellow in time? Because I'm going to show you the next one in just a second. The next one is the one that started it all for me. It's my first Chanel resin brooch from the year 2003. 2003, I think, or two, I, yeah, I think 2003. And, and uh, so basically, oh my God, 2021. You got to be kidding me. Oh. <gasps> This next brooch is 21 years old. Shut up. What I'm about to show you is the first resin brooch I bought at Chanel. And uh, it's very, very special. Um... I bought it directly at Chanel. It was $100 back then. So we've gone from $100 to now $500. So it went up and but hey, 21 years it took for it to go up in price that much. The next one is my pride and joy. And you will see why. And Debbie, there's a lot of white on it. And you're going to see it did not turn yellow at all. After 21 years, it did not turn yellow at all. This is not cheap plastic. This is not cheap plexiglass. This is a special resin. Hit it, Bubbles. Oh. 
There she is. Coco. This is from the photo of Horst P. Horse, uh, who took a photo of Coco in, um, in 31 Rue Cambon on a chaise lounge. And that photo has been utilized a lot for Chanel uh, costume jewelry. And this is like a piece of candy, this round resin brooch. Back then, they would still uh, press the authenticity stamp into the plexiglass so it can fall out. You got to be careful. It's just glued in there, but it's not covered with plexi on top. And each one of these colors is hand placed. So what I'm saying here is this is not a print of Coco with the French flag colors, you know, the French colors, blue, white, and red. But it is, each color is, it fills in um, basically an etching or an embossing type of style within the brooch. So it is this thick. And uh, if we look at the brooch at an angle, when it starts reflecting the light, you notice that every color has a different level. It's like because they've been pouring it in. Also done by hand. So this is not a print that can fade. This is an actual filling. They have filled every color extra. So beautiful. It's like a piece of candy. And like I said, 21 years old, the white is white. It did not turn yellow. Um, let me show you the next picture, which is me holding it so you get more of the feeling of how small or big it is. There it is. That's Coco, baby. And you can see when we reflect the light, how at a certain angle, you see how certain colors reflect light differently because they're more... Maybe I can take a photo of it and show you. It is a fingerprint magnet because it's so glossy. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to photograph it properly to show you how mm, that's hard to oh, maybe here. Okay, so here and you're going to see a little bit of my fingerprints as well. So, you know, don't think it's a scratch. It's not. But here in this area, I managed not to reflect the light so that you can see how um, how actually you see how the light casts a shadow down there. That's because the red is poured here, the red is poured around that black. It's like a little island. The black is a little island, and the red is poured around the black into the little ridge or the little tiny, yeah, like a little ridge. So the red is poured in into it. So it it's special. These little resin brooches are special, and there's a reason why I love them. Um, really, really gorgeous. There is one more that I didn't photograph. Um, but uh, uh, you remember I the um, my Chanel Minaudière, also in resin. That's a huge resin piece. Now, now imagine why Chanel charges so much for their special Minaudières that are shaped like a car, the latest one from the Cruise Collection, that little kind of uh, the, the Volkswagen van car, uh, or the um, video, the film camera from the Paris Rome Collection, or the, you know, space shuttle bag, or the uh, Matryoshka, or the Babushka bags from the Russian Collection. They're made in this resin as well and it's it's thick <laughs> it's a lot of resin and everything is then hand painted um i have a music tape transparent resin brooch as well also this tiny 
with a ton of work that went into it because it has like several crystals placed into it and it looks like a functioning little mini music cassette. Um, but uh, it is amazing. It is amazing. Debbie says the close-ups are the missing link. The close-ups are the missing link, yes. Because then you really know, you really know what uh, what goes down here. It's amazing. So, it's kind of sad. You know, I wanted to make this video because I also wanted to make clear uh, that uh, th they are special. They're not just random plastic pieces because I often find myself in a in a position where like friends and family they don't get it like they're like why are you what is this why would you spend so much money on a piece of plastic and it's like really hard for me to explain to people well it's not sure you could just say yeah it's a it's an artificial material it's a it's a synthetic material but um First of all, it's beautiful to the eye. I love pop art like this. It's very pop, you know. It is. It's very pop art. It's like Chanel goes pop art. But it's not a simple just here, let's throw out some junk of plastic and sell it. No, it is very specifically made with a lot of attention to detail. Not one single print is off or out of line or smudged. You know what I mean? Everything is anally <laughs> perfect and um and i'm so glad that i got to make this video now to show you uh how it is what it means to me you know why these resin pieces are so special to me so be sure to follow me on Jacob cc all spelled together on Instagram. That's where I showcase my Chanel collection. And uh, I will be uh, showing there what I didn't show here in this video. I will be showing the resin music tape, little tiny one. Uh, you're going to see that close up. It is uh, a masterpiece of technology, really. There's also screws involved. They had to screw stuff in, in that one. That one is very special. And um, so that little miniature resin brooch tape is going to be on Jacob CC, all spelled together. It is kind of my fan account where I showcase my collection and stuff about Chanel that I love. Uh, all photos by me, FYI. And uh, so you get a little bit of an extra kind of expanded experience through different social medias. Uh, you get to see something that you didn't see in this video. If you are into resin brooches and resin pieces by Chanel, I'm going to showcase a little music tape there. Uh, and, uh, of course, for those of you who don't know, there is that, the first Minodier from Chanel that started the Minodier collection, that, that started that Minodier kind of tradition of, of Carl, every collection he would make at least one Minodier. Well, the one that started it all was the music cassette in 2005, spring, summer, uh, which I have. Back then... They cost a fraction of what they cost today. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, and, but they were still quite hard to get. But they were not in the twenty, thirty thousand dollar $30,000 ballpark per bag. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They were more in the ballpark of the price tag of a slingback. IYKYK. Current price of a slingback. However, Chanel slingback. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a long video, but it's a passionate video. I think a video like this might actually, hopefully, have some sort of substance in the future if people kind of want to look back at it. And, you know, it's not just an unboxing video. It's a special addition to a tiny little resin collection that I have from Chanel. Because truth be told, it's not like I like every piece of costume jewelry that they make out of resin. The piece has to be special. And then I go for it. I'm very selective. In 21 years, I got five resin brooches from Chanel. I've gotten metal brooches that also have resin in them, but that's mostly a metal brooch with resin. That's different. This is the base is resin, and then they can add some metal in it. But this is the base. Like 90% of the brooch is resin. 
and then there's also some metal added. That's a, like a special thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you have, thumb it up, subscribe for more. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Bye. Mwah.